Let's take a look at how we could use motion search to get to the video that matters quickly. We're going to start on the video page. Once on the video page, we go down to our location that we'd like. Then we select the camera we'd like to conduct a motion search on. Now we've got a break room here. So what I'm going to do is quickly go to the top of the page, select motion search. Now motion search can only be done in standard def, so we will automatically revert the video back to standard def. And now I'm simply going to use my cursor to draw on the location of interest. Once I've done that, you'll notice there is no blue lines on my 30 minute timeline until much later on. But I can see a bunch of blue lines on my 24 hour timeline. And all of those blue lines are representing any time there's motion in this area. In order to get to the next motion events, all I need to do is select the arrow with the line beside it, and that will shoot me forward in time to the next time that somebody interacts with this area. And I can click the playback speed button to speed things up. So I'm going to click through here to the next event. Now we see an employee sitting down and it, he appears to be having some breakfast. And I can actually see that this is a break by looking down at my 30 minute timeline. I can see that the employee starts his break around 6.23 a.m. and will finish his break around 6.34. And that is a verified 10 minute break, which is appropriate because that is the allotted time they have to take a break. So that's how we can use motion search uh, very, to very quickly find the video we're looking for. Also, in this example, we are verifying that breaks are being taken and that they are proper in terms of length.